Hello, I'm Jamila Musaiba, an international social etiquette consultant and the author of two books, Etiquette, The Least You Need to Know and Afternoon Tea Etiquette. My books are available in print only in Azerbaijan. If you want to make a book order, make sure that you check out the details underneath this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome and please make sure to subscribe. If you're an old viewer, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about something that was so much requested by a lot of you and that is my sunglass collection. As well, I'll be talking about how to choose a perfect pair of sunglasses for you. Let's start with understanding what we need to do in order to find out how to find the perfect pair of sunglasses that suit you the most. And there are three things to take into account. Your facial shape as well as your features your skin tone as well as your undertone and finally your personality your overall style your overall look the number one thing we have to look for and try to understand is what is the shape of our face as well as try to understand our features which are our strong features and what are our smaller or weaker features and try to bring a balance to our face so what we have to do to find out the shape of our face is to actually take a measuring tape just like this one it has to be flexible and bendable so you can actually bend around your face and there are four things you need to measure so number one thing that you need to measure is actually the width of your forehead and what you have to be looking for is you have to measure somewhere between your eyebrows and your hairline at the widest part of your forehead and that should be somewhere in the middle here around the top of your temples so you would take the measuring tape like this and then you would just go around and measure out the width of your forehead like that the second measurement that you have to take is the width of your cheekbones so what you have to do is you have to look at the highest part of your cheekbone you would do that by just smiling and looking and kind of feeling where it is the like where you feel the cheekbones at their highest part and usually it's at the edge of your nose so if you just take this measurement from the edge of your nose or around your cheekbones that would be the width of your cheekbones the third measurement that you have to take into account is your jawline width. To measure it, you have to take the edge of your ear, so somewhere from here up until the middle of your chin. So this would be the length of your jawline, but because we have two jawlines, so we'll have to either measure both of them or just measure one and multiply by two. And the fourth measurement that you have to take is the length of your face. To do so, you'd have to measure from the top of your middle center of your hairline up until the end of your chin. So that would be the length of your face. Having collected all those measurements, you can now juxtapose your results with the general face shapes. And there are six of them. There is a round one, an oval one, a square one, a rectangular one, a diamond and a heart shaped one. The other method that you can use, not just only using the measurements, but to quite to be sure what your face shape is, you can actually take a selfie looking straight in the camera like that. You take a picture of yourself and then you print it out. And then you can just draw the lines around your face to understand what is the actual shape of your face. To be more confident in understanding which face shape you have, I would recommend that you actually use both methods. You take the selfie as well as take the measurements. The rule of thumb is that having identified your face shape, you have to now choose sunglasses that are opposite to your face shape. It's important because it will bring the balance to your face overall. So let's say you have a round face shape. What you have to do is you have to opt for more geometrical shapes, a uh, cat eye oversized, but you should never try to choose a round shaped sunglasses because a round face and a round shaped sunglasses are gonna make your face look even more round. If you have, let's say, a square or a rectangular face, you don't have to choose a rectangular shaped sunglasses because, again, that's going to make your face look even more square or rectangular. You can opt for round glasses. If you're still unsure what kind of sunglasses you should be opting for, you can look up online for different recommendations for different face shapes. So, for example, you have identified that you have a round face, you can now look up online where are some good frames or uh, style of sunglasses what that will perfectly look on you. 
Truth be told, I was able to identify the perfect shape of sunglasses for myself through trial and error. So I would go into the shop, try different type of sunglasses and make mental notes on what definitely looked good on me and what definitely didn't. So next time I would go shopping, I would know to avoid certain frames or certain colors and just look for certain specific products that helped me to A, save time and B, be more secure of the choice that I made. Because when you buy a sunglass, it's usually an investment if you buy a good pair of sunglasses it's definitely an investment and you don't want to feel like it's just good for you at that moment and then over time you just feel like it definitely doesn't suit you you can also try the trial and error method by trying on different sunglasses but if you don't feel like doing it you can look at your face shape and your features and then look for recommendations for your face shape so what I would also recommend to do is also look at your features. You have some strong features, let's say your lips are large or maybe your nose is big. You have to make sure that actually the sunglasses are opposite to that so they make your features look softer. It's important to play this visual optical game to make your face look more flattering. Why understanding your face shape is important is because that's the most important element when choosing the right type of sunglasses for you. And especially nowadays when we are shopping mostly online, when you're looking up glasses, you don't know what's gonna look good on you and you kinda want to make the right choice, knowing your face shape will definitely help you to narrow down your choices and then look for the one that speaks to your heart or makes your heart beat. <laughs> the second important element when choosing the perfect pair of sunglasses is looking at your skin tone, but that is more obvious. We usually see our skin tone, but more importantly is your undertone. And I've done a video about undertones. If you haven't checked it out, make sure that you do check it out before going for a shopping for sunglasses. Having watched that video, I hope it has helped you to identify your skin undertone. And generally speaking, the cooler undertones, for example, I have a cool undertone, dark colors like black, dark navy, you know, um, silver ones look better on us. And then for warmer undertones, uh, warmer colors look good. So that's brown, uh, olive green, the golden. So all these colors look better on warmer undertones and they complement their undertone and their skin tone. So choosing the right color is super important because it's gonna make your face and your overall features stand out. When I was referring to color, I was more talking about the frames because that's the thing that actually pops into our eyes when we're looking at someone's sunglasses. So that was the color of the frames. In terms of the color of your glasses themselves, you can choose for the ones that either are more comfortable for you or you just generally like. Um, I opt usually for darker sunglasses because I like the way they look and I like that they hide your eyes, but uh, maybe you don't like that. Maybe you want something more clear. Of course, you can opt for that. Also, personally for me, I don't wear a lot of golden accessories. So out of all my sunglass collection, I only have one glasses that have golden frames. Uh, the rest are either just black or silver. The third important element in making the right choice is looking for sunglasses that speak to your personality, to your lifestyle, to your overall style. I say it in a lot of my videos as well with makeup and choosing your personal style is that it has to speak to your character. What is the message that you're trying to send to the world and to people around you? Um, I think when I look at someone's choice of glasses, I can definitely tell a lot about them. Just like with the nail polish color, with the makeup, with accessories, I think it tells a lot about you before you even get a chance to speak. So choosing the glasses that complement overall your style and your personality is a great choice. Now we're coming to the most intriguing and anticipated part of this video, I'm sure, is looking at my sunglass collection. These are not all my glasses, these are the ones that I wear the most and I like them a lot. If you look at my collection, you can tell that I'm quite conservative in my choices, just like I am with the choice of nail polish color, I always go for the same color or a little bit variations of it. And it's the same for sunglass choice. When I buy a pair of sunglasses and I like a good pair of sunglasses, I usually think how many times can I wear it? And when I think like that, I wanna make sure that I can wear it for a couple of years. And to do so, I need to choose a pair of glasses that are actually timeless. Um, don't have anything that speaks or cries <laughs> season, hot this season. I wanna make sure that I can wear it for really long time and actually it's always going to look good on me. It's not going to be hot this season and not so cool next season. Usually the shape is pretty much the same. 
Uh, there's going to be slight variations here and there, but overall you can tell that it's a collection of one person. And now, drum roll! Okay, let's get started. The magic box. Dun, 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 dun. And voila! So let's start with the first pair of glasses that I love. Um, so I know I will be telling the designer brands here, mentioning them. Unfortunately, I won't be able to link them down below because most of these purchases were done two, three, four and more years ago. So I don't remember where I bought them. I just know the brand name because it says here and that's all I know. Okay, so these are by a brand called Les Specs um, and I love them. I'm gonna show them how they look. I think this is the only oversized sunglasses that I have. Um, the reason I love them is because they're oversized and they, because I have a rounder shaped face, it actually brings it, it makes it look more slimmer and I think it just makes it more flattering. Um, the edge, the frames here are also large. Actually, it's the only pair of glasses that I have that has such a large um, side. And what I like about these glasses is that I can wear them with a dress like this or I can wear them with jeans and they always look good. Like no matter what I'm wearing it with, it always looks chic. And I like the fact that they're oversized. They're a little bit round, but because they're oversized, they balance out the face. So these are less specs and they just look so cool. Next, you're gonna see a lot of cat eye glasses with different kind of frames. May, may be a little bit different lines here and there, but they're pretty much the same to me, I think. Um, these are my favorite, uh, they're by Saint Laurent. And this is, I think, the most classical shape you can get. So this is a very classical cat eye. The frames are so, so thin. You can barely see anything here. And I actually don't like when the sides of the glasses have a lot of embellishment, like flowers on it or some like huge logos on it. I like when they're simple and kind of understated um, because I think it just doesn't like, doesn't shout hot this season or it was from this year. It's just so timeless. So these are my favorite ones too. And I wear them a lot. And I like a lot of glasses that don't have any kind of uh, silver or golden linings around them because that makes it easier for me to dress it up with different kind of accessories. I think for now, these are my most favorite right now. Next, you're gonna see a lot of sunglasses that repeat the shape of the Saint Laurent one. And this is uh, by Prada. It is also a cat eye, but if you compare the two, so these are thinner, they're more like classical, I think, and this were more like stylish, like Audrey Hepburn style, I don't know, more retro, I think. So this is also my favorite, and I like that it's a combination. It's a little bit cat eye, a little bit oversized with larger frames, so it's a mix of the both, and um, I think it also goes well with any kind of either cocktail dress or a sporty dress, whatever you're wearing, this just looks perfect all the time. Okay, so voila. Okay, next is another pair of glasses, again by Prada. Very similar to everything that I've been showing you. I think they're even more similar to this, oops, to this Saint Laurent shape. I think they look pretty much the same. The only difference is, again, this one is thinner, this one is a little bit um, larger, the frames are a little bit thicker, but if you compare this with this, this one with this, then this one is definitely thinner. So there's just a little bit of a variation in terms of the frames and the size overall of the glass. So this is how they look. I think I look pretty much the same in all of them, but I guess I like this shape. So. So the next pair is again by Prada. As you can tell, I have a lot of the same shape and forms by Prada. I like their sunglasses. I like the shape because most every season almost Prada has some kind of a basic cat eye shape. So if you're looking for one, you can check them out. Um, 
So this one is a little bit different from everything before because it has the silver uh, design on the sides as well as the insides are white and you can actually when you're looking from the top and from the side you can see the white linings from the inside and also if you look at the color of the glass like the the color of the uh, glass itself it's a little bit more see-through than the rest of them so you can actually see my eyes in these glasses uh, I like to wear them when I have some uh, maybe silver or some um, white gold accessories because it just looks very coherent with the whole look but if I'm not wearing anything or I'm not wearing a lot then I'm just gonna opt for this uh, ones actually I think when I have any kind of accessory I can go for this black ones but with this one I make sure that I have a silver one because I want it to complement the silver lining inside the final one that I have here for now is um, again another cat eye shade it's by Miu Miu um, and it's the only one that I have that has golden frames um, I usually don't like golden ones because again as I mentioned I don't wear much of a golden color accessories but when I do I like to wear these so they can look better and complement the accessory so if you're looking so I'll do an experiment now I'm wearing this and I have uh, white golden one earrings here I'll just take one out and wear a golden one to show you how it complements the overall look a lot better when you have a golden accessory and a golden framed sunglass. So if you were to compare a look like this and then a look like that, I think this ones look better with this glasses. So. Having seen my eyewear collection, you can tell that I'm very conservative in my choices. I opt for pretty much the same shape, the same style, the same color. Um, but I do so because I want to know that it's always going to look good on me, no matter how many years pass by. And I also am a person who is very much into aesthetics over you know, fashion and trends. Um, I think you need to find what looks good on you, even if it's not hot that season or not cool that season. If it complements you, then you're good to go. Um, I oftentimes see people that are victims to fashion trends and you know what looks cool on everyone doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna look cool on you. There was a season wherein you know the round shaped aviator glasses were so in fashion everyone was gushing about it and everyone was trying to wear it but i think it doesn't look good on everyone and understanding what looks good on you is so important i think it's more important to look good than to look trendy and fashionable sometimes it could be the same thing but most times it's actually the opposite Whatever is trendy that season might not necessarily suit your face, your body, your overall look. So try to look for aesthetics instead of trends and what is hot that season. This wouldn't be a video by an etiquette consultant if I didn't address another important element of looking good in your sunglasses is making sure that you take good care of them. So having identified your face shape, what shape looks good on you, having identified your skin tone as well as your undertone, choosing the right color, looking for the sunglass that speaks to your personality, to your lifestyle. Having done all of that and found the perfect pair of sunglasses, the most important next step is to actually take good care of them. No matter how expensive, amazing, cool, chic your sunglasses are, if you have fingerprints on them, if you have stain on the lenses, it's never going to look good. The most important element in taking care of your sunglasses is making sure that you keep the original case that you're given um, with, together with the sunglasses. I happen to have certain cases that I like more. For example, this case by Prada, I find it very easy to carry, um, just very minimalistic and perfect. Sometimes I can fit in two glasses. I've already shown that in my one of my videos is what is in my bag. If you haven't checked it out, make sure that you do. But I would, let's say, um, have this pair of glass here and I would put this and store it like that in my bag. This way I would protect it from getting stains as well as getting scratched. Sometimes, however, because I'm carrying a smaller bag and I can't fit this large case, what I would do is I would take a dust bag. Um, for example, this Miu Miu glasses had a dust bag. And what I would do is I would use this dust bag and just 
put my glasses there or close it like that and keep it like that in my bag. Again, it, it protects it. It's a little bit uh, more vulnerable in this uh, case than it is in this one. It can break if you have a lot of stuff in your bag, but again, it's much better than just leaving your glasses like that in your bag without any case or dust bag. The next important thing that you have to have in your, in your pouch, in your dust bag or the case is the sunglass wipe so this is looks like this it's made of a cloth it's reusable i wash it and then reuse it um, what i also carry around in my bag if i have space if not i just use it at home it's this lens cleanser so it comes with a little bottle like that i fill it with a liquid and then if i have a space in my bag i'll just clean it right before i use it or i'll just clean it at home and then take the glass with me so you just spray a little bit on the on your glass and then take this wipe and just wipe it all very very nicely and do this gentle rubbing so that the taste stains and the frames are clear so like that and then you check it a little bit under the sun to see if you still have some stains and if you do you just rub some more and then you check again and then it looks perfect and then you look perfect wearing a perfectly clean and perfectly fitting pair of sunglasses. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope it can help you to find out your perfect pair of sunglasses and I hope you enjoyed watching my collection as well and learning some tips about how to take care of your sunglasses. Thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye!